Yo, how's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you all the settings you need for the AMD Radeon software to be able to record. And I made a video and it got a lot of views on it just showing you how to record with it. And I never I never gave the settings, but there's been a lot of people commenting on that video. Uh, having a lot of problems. I can't even name them all. There's a whole bunch of it. And I know most of those problems are due to the... Uh, the settings that you're you're running and I just want to show you all the ones that I use um, and I'm pretty sure that'll solve up or pretty much solve like all your problems um, hopefully um, but yeah anyways uh, what we're gonna do is if you if you've never done this before and this is your first time watching this and you want to get the settings for it all you got to do is mine's down here at the bottom but you can just right click on the desktop and go to AMD Radeon software and this is only for AMD Ryzen computers uh, to use this. I'm not sure about NVIDIA. I don't know if they have their own stuff or not because I've never used one. But anyways, whenever you open this up, this will be the uh, screen you'll be looking at. And what you want to do uh, is go to... You want to click the gear icon in the top right. Let me go ahead and full screen this. The gear icon in the top right. Uh, and then go to... Let's find it real quick. Pretty sure it's a general. Yeah, it's a general. And what you're gonna see here is you're gonna have media, you're gonna have recording, you're gonna have live streaming and performance. So what I'm gonna show you today is the recording uh, settings. And I'm also gonna show you the media because the media is where like all your, uh, after you get done recording, it shows up in a certain file. So you can go there and you can take that and go into your editing software and start editing it. And But yeah, let's, anyways, let's just uh, get started with these. Uh, the first one is media save location. This is where all your, your files go after you get done recording them. And uh, I got mine saved to Radeon Replay. You can just click on it and then go to like a designated folder and then or create a new folder. And then every time you use the hotkeys to record and once you end that video, it goes to that designated folder. So that's that's where you want to you wanna make sure you know where that's at. If you don't remember, it's, it's right there. Uh, instant replay. Um, you're gonna you want to have that on. That's just like if you ever played Xbox or anything, and you want to save like a capture, like back 30 seconds, like this one. You can go all the way up to 20 minutes. I just keep mine on like a minute and 15 seconds. But that's how you do that if you want to do that. Um, instant GIF. You can have that disabled. Uh, In-game replay. Uh, you can have that disabled. Uh, audio capture device this is what your mic is gonna be so if you're having a problem where you record and you can't hear hear your mic you want to pick your mic right here um, I'm using the Yeti so I obviously pick Yeti and your video capture device if you have a webcam um, like I have the C960 you just want to click that and make sure that's selected and that's how you're gonna be able to use your webcam and stuff and now after we're done with all that so let's just get on recording this is what the video is mainly about um, Obviously, you want your record desktop to be enabled. It just allows you to record your game. So if you had that problem where it hasn't been recording, then that's that's how you fix that. Um, show indicator. This is going to be if you. I have this disabled for some reason. Radeon likes to be weird, but show indicator is like whenever you press the hotkeys to start recording, it'll tell you in the top right that it's started recording. So you should have that on. Portis region capture. Um, you just have that disabled. Uh, recording profile, set that to high. Uh, recording resolution, in game. Uh, recording FPS, just do that at 60. You don't want it to be 30 because then you're just uh, crippling yourself because yeah, you want to have the best quality if you're going to record. If you're going to record, you just want the best quality. That's just how it's going to have to be. Um, video encoding type, you want that on AVC. Don't do it on. HEVC, I don't know the reason behind it, but AVC works for me. Uh, video bitrate, I have this on 30. And audio bitrate, I have it on 192. I'm pretty sure this is just the default that came with it. Um, but like I said, if, you're, if your video, after your recordings are being laggy and are skipping or just not smooth, then your video bitrate, that's probably your problem. You're gonna have to adjust this. It's gonna take time to figure out what your right thing is. But my, my build is kinda like a mid build. It's not too expensive, it's not too cheap. So 30 works for me. 
um, but yeah. Audio channels, uh, you just have that set to automatic. Uh, separate microphone track, you can put that disabled. Uh, record microphone, enabled obviously. Microphone level, you want that 100% because you don't want it to be 50 because then you're, you, the people won't be able to hear you. You want be, your voice to be as loud as possible. Um, push to talk. You could do that if you wanted to. Push to talk is just whenever you click a key and you hold, you hold it, you gotta press the key for it to be able to hear you. I would just have that off. You can always edit out stuff you don't wanna say or that you don't wanna set in the video. Uh, audio boost, just have that off. And that is pretty much it. <clears throat> you can also get into live streaming and stuff like that, but I'm just doing the recording part today. Um, if you have any questions, if you, if anybody, like I get enough like uh, feedback and they people want me to do the streaming then I'll do the streaming as well um, but I don't so I don't really use streaming on this I feel like Streamlabs is a lot better than this um, to be able to stream it's a lot easier to set up over overlays and all that stuff but yeah uh, but that is that is the recording settings if you've been having trouble and use comment on my last video all these questions this should clear up most of them um, but yeah uh, if this helped you please leave a comment below let me know that it helped you um, and I do a whole bunch of software tutorials any from basically anything I do any anytime I get an idea pop in my brain I do a tutorial about it so if you like that sort of stuff then make sure to leave me a like and subscribe and turn on the bell and yeah thank you very much I'll see y'all later peace